I'm gonna teach you how to find and buy a reliable used car for cheap. Woo! If you're watching this video, you've decided to purchase a used car to save money. If you're still on the fence about this, be sure to check out my last video where I talk about the pros and cons of both buying a new and used car. So my biggest tip on buying a used car is to not purchase it from a dealership. If you're going to purchase from a dealership, even if you haggle down to the very minimum price that they're gonna go, it's still gonna be thousands of dollars more expensive than you would buying third party. This is because a dealership is for profit and the salesman is gonna try and upcharge you as most as possible because they get paid off of commissions. So if you're not gonna buy it from a dealership, you're going to have to look into buying third party. So a good mentality to have going the third party route is to not be so picky. If you want a specific year, make, model, color, you're gonna have to be searching a lot longer for that vehicle and also you're gonna have to be slightly lucky. So going in, just be open. A car is mainly just to get you from point A to point B and really nothing more. But hey, if you're all about looking fresh and driving a sports car, more power to you. Just be sure you identify what you value and understand the financial implications of those values. So firstly, do research on the kind of car you want. Do you want a small car that's more suitable for the city and parallel parking? Do you want a car with awesome gas mileage for those long road trips? Or do you want a bigger vehicle for your family or a pickup truck because you'll be moving large items to point A to point B? So make sure you research reliable car models and brands. If you don't know one off the top of your head, I'd highly recommend Toyota and Honda. My family and I have been driving these two brands for decades and have vehicles that are well above 200,000 miles and are still reliable and good to use. And in general, just stay away from American-made cars because these are not as typically reliable compared to cars imported from Asia or Europe. American cars don't last as long as other cars and that's why they depreciate at a much higher rate. So after you've researched the exact kind of cars you want, I'd recommend having at least three in mind so that you can begin the search. Uh, I would look into local third-party cars. So these are much simpler to see go to the location, test drive, and purchase. So there are three main tools that I'm gonna recommend you to start your search. One is Craigslist. This is a site where people post their used items, uh, like vehicles, and then you'll be able to browse around and see the exact kind of make and model you want and all the stats about those vehicles. Another tool to look into is the Facebook Marketplace. This is an emerging platform where a lot of people are posting their used vehicles and you can search, shop around, and communicate with them. And for my latest vehicle purchase, I actually use this app called OfferUp. So this is a mobile app only and it's very similar to Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace where people will post their vehicles and then you can shop around, look, put different specifications and then meet up and purchase used vehicles. With all three platforms, you want to make sure that you filter by the make and models you want put down specific mileage limitations you have, and also look for a clean title or automatic transmissions if that is what you're going for. So make sure the title is clean, that means that there are no liens against that vehicle. So with a clean title, the current owner of that vehicle can transfer ownership to anyone that they assign the vehicle to. A car with a clean title also indicates that it has never been deemed a total loss or been salvaged. So if you find a stunning car on these platforms, make sure you message the owner, set up a meet where you can test drive it. The sooner, the better. So when you go on this test drive, make sure you bring a mechanic who can go with you and test the vehicle. Unless you're a mechanic yourself, don't think that you can examine a car better than a mechanic. They'll be able to spot difficulties and issues with the car engine and can save you thousands of dollars and headaches later in the road. So after you've test driven it, you like it, the mechanic says there are no issues, or if there are issues and you're willing to take those on, then purchase it. This can be done using all cash, an online payment, or a bank transfer. Then the owner of the vehicle will transfer the title over to you. And I can't say this enough, but be 
very scrupulous when filling out this title transfer. So when I purchased my used car, the previous owner actually wrote down the date one line under, crossed it out, initialed it, and then assumed that was okay. So just to be on the safe side, we went to the DMV to make sure it was okay, and it actually wasn't. So you can't make any mistakes with this. So there are two ways to either fix this. You can have the previous owner go to the DMV, get a new title under his or her name, and then redo the whole title transfer. Or you can both go to the DMV together and have the previous owner present while you get your new title. And after the title transferred over from the previous owner to you, you'll be left with a car with no plates. And it's actually illegal to drive a car with no plates. So what do you do? Each state is different, but you can go to your DMV and get a special permit, which will allow you to drive this vehicle from a specified point to another specific location. So make sure you go on your DMV's website and look how to take your car from point A to point B legally. To be able to get your vehicle registered, call up your insurance and activate your auto insurance on your vehicle. After you do so, the auto insurance company will add it to the DMV's database where they can see that you have insurance and you'll be good to go. So walk into the DMV, show your title under your name with your activated auto insurance, pay the sales tax, and then the DMV will give you your registered vehicle and you are free to drive it legally. So that's how you find and buy a used car. So I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to subscribe for weekly videos on finding what you value and making financial decisions around them. And comment down below, let me know what else you wanna see. All right, peace.